One morning, Blake woke up, and his dad showed him pictures on his phone of a Mustang GT that was at a shop where his brother worked. And he said that the shop was going to get rid of the car and they would sell it cheap. So Blake went down to check it out. He went down to the shop and immediately after seeing the condition of the seat and the steering wheel, he knew that this was a clean car and he started to get really excited. So basically what happened was somebody brought the car to the shop because they had over revved the engine and damaged the engine supposedly and the shop told the guy that it was going to need a new engine and the guy said you know what you can just have the car and he gave it to them so if it wasn't for his brother Tyler telling him anything about it they would have had the car towed to a junkyard just a couple hours later but they told the guy that they would like to buy it and they gave the owner of the shop two hundred dollars for it so Blake had the car towed home and the first thing he did was put some new headlights in it and give it a nice wash and cleaned it up really nice. Blake started polishing the car to get rid of the oxidation in the paint. He had a light bar out in the middle of the night in 30 degree weather polishing this thing to make the paint pop again. Eventually he took off the honeycomb grill and just put a pony in it. It didn't have the official Mach 1 grill delete but that still looks good especially on a black car you don't really notice any Thing like that but he polished the car in his backyard and then it sat for two months so he kept washing the car and keeping it clean and the next thing he did was actually what he calls mixed up priorities he installed a 12 inch subwoofer and some speakers in the car and he had me laughing when he said this because the car didn't run but it had a great stereo system in it he said pretty much it was a large set of glorified headphones and now something that was really cool about this was putting a battery in the car and getting the sound system hooked up and everything was the first time he cycled the key and was greeted by a nice low 80,000 mile odometer. So the car had low miles and after sitting there for a little while he went ahead and saved up and he bought an engine for the car. It was a 50,000 mile engine that was from a Lincoln Town car or a Crown Victoria basically same engine that I put in a couple GTs. They're the same PI engine if they're from 2001 and up. And so after a little while he was able to have the car towed over to his friend's house and after a month of what he called confusion and patience he finally got the car to run. And while the car was going through all this he decided to take off the rear spoiler and redrill the holes which is a common modification for the 99 and 2000 and move the spoiler back a couple inches and that really gives the spoiler a better stance on the back of the car and that looked great and while it was there he also added chrome bumper inserts for the Mustang letters so he finally had the engine all put back in there everything looked good his friends and family had written on it lifeless like and that really gave him motivation to get the car running again and so finally the car was back on the road this was the first time he took it to the grocery store he was totally stoked and the first time he drove the car he was greeted by a very unpleasant grind in third and fourth gear so he knew the transmission needed to be replaced which he did another issue he had was he had axle gear wine under D cell and so this has been a lot of work so far and you can see in this picture he said he has some mild aggravation on his face but it was still a lot of good work and he was getting through it so the next thing he did was he got a cow hood and some FR500 wheels and both those things made the car look really aggressive the car was really turning into something nice and he said he couldn't believe that this car was about to be scrapped and now look at it he had given this car a whole nother life and it looked awesome it drove nice and he put a lot of work into it. Here's a little bit of the interior of the car. You can see how nice it is. Uh, the steering wheel stands out a lot to me because 99 to 2001 had the solid leather like that on the color tone when there's two-tone interior. And you can see it also has the 99 and 2000 double dish look on the radio. That's like it was from 94 to 2000. And here's a nice shot of the engine bay all together looking really good. So now that he had the car running, he wanted to make it a little nicer. The GT bumper was fading and he wanted some more airflow in the front. So he got a Cobra front bumper, had it painted and installed. 
and he liked it because it would have more airflow in the front. He also added some clear corner headlights and he had some FR500 wheels on it for a little bit but they were in bad shape and they had brake dust that was stained and some spots so he went ahead and bought some brand new XXRs. Those are really nice wheels and he also liked them because they would clear big brakes. And so he had uh, the engine running good, the transmission's been changed, but he still had some gear whine, and that actually evolved into a clunking noise, and you could shake the drive shaft up and down, the pinion was loose, uh, it had a lot of issues there, and so he decided he was going to try to drive it across town to a shop, and he drove it, and it just started having this weird knocking noise on D-cell, and it turned into a loud, aggressive banging noise, and it got really scary, and about two miles away from where he had to go, the rear end locked up on D-cell. He said you could give it gas and it would go forward, but as soon as you let out, it would stop dead in its tracks. And so at this point, he had no other choice but to get the car towed, and he had to have it go to the shop where it could be worked on. And so here you can see the play in the drive shaft and the loose pinion, and that was probably just banging into the ring of pinion, and just messing up the gears. Um, but anyway, you can see how good the car looks now, and he had it all running. He actually decided to get rid of the Cal hood, and he traded it for a Terminator hood, which was actually a Mystachrome hood, and that looks really good too. The Mystachrome um, is obviously a very rare hood to have on a car like that, and you could get it painted or do other things, but he actually said his plans for the car are to do a full Terminator clone swap with it, and painted competition orange, as a matter of fact. And so he said he'll update us when that happens. But anyway, this is a really neat story about a Mustang GT that was left for dead. $200, he was able to take it and turn it into something awesome. And it really didn't need a whole lot. I mean, nowadays you can get those two valves pretty cheap. And he got it running and he has an awesome car. So this was a really cool story. So. I want to thank him for sharing that with me. I want to thank everybody for the awesome comments that everybody leaves in all my videos. I have so many great comments, so many awesome people out there who are supportive, who are into this hobby just like I am. I want to thank you guys for being so kind and taking care of the channel, watching it, giving it views, thumbs up, subscribing. That means a lot to me. And I love to meet all of you and I love to have these stories sent in because these are awesome stories that I would never have known otherwise. You know, back in the day, it was really cool to have your car featured in 5.0 Mustang Magazine or Mustang Monthly or whatever. But I would much rather watch a video about a car like this instead of read it. And so I think this is really neat that this is evolving into a Mustang Enthusiast video series. So I just want to thank everybody who's supportive, everybody who is been so nice to me who's given me the awesome comments again I really appreciate it so stay tuned for more of these stories subscribe to the channel if you're not already on here with us and thanks for watching